Today, let's look at Microsoft Clarity tool. Okay, this is a free heat map and behavior analytics tool. Microsoft declared it as completely free for a lifetime, and uh, there is no limit on the recordings of this website. Okay, so let's go and set up Microsoft Clarity and how to set up it, how to see the recordings, okay, and how to analyze our website analytics, okay, and make changes accordingly to improve the performance of the website, okay. Uh, if you are starting, just go click on sign up and uh, sign up with any of them. I have already set it up. I am going to sign in okay, using my Google account. Okay, I already have three projects set up. Okay, so let me delete this one and show it to you for you for demo purpose. Okay. Click on new project, add the name, okay, add the URL, click on add new project. So once you do that, you will see the screen and you have three options to install it. You can install manually, uh, take this code and put it on the website in the head section. So this is one. The next one is install on third party platform. So if you are using WordPress, Shopify, Wix or any other platforms, you can do this via this method. If you are using GTM, you can do this via this method. So since I am using GTM, I am going to click on GTM. If you are using any other tools, you can go that way. Okay. Let me go and click on GTM. Now you need to connect your GTM account. Okay. Connect now and select the right uh, Google account where the GTM is created. Okay. Click on continue. and Google Analytics integration. So if you want all the analytics data also to show up in Microsoft Clarity tool, connect this also. Okay. So I'm going to connect now. So this is still the GTM tool. It is connecting now. Okay. This is connected. Now let's go and connect Google Analytics. Just give it some time, uh, select the right uh, website from your analytics, okay, and click on save. Okay, this is done, this is connected successfully. Okay, and next, let's go to masking. So what masking is, so there are some elements where this tool wants to detect or not want to detect. So you can put that uh, restriction here. For example, if someone is filling the form, and you don't want the form elements like name, email, phone number to be recorded in this tool. So you can go and put it as strict. So all text will be in a masked form, like a blurred form. Nothing will be seen in the recordings. So if you want everything to be shown, just go and put it on relax mode. So you can see all the details. So some of the elements will be hidden and some of the elements will not be hidden. So that way. And if you want any element, particular element, you want particularly to, to mask or, you, or to blur, you can click on add element and go and uh, put the CSS element of that one here and you can mask it. So this is more useful if you are uh, working in a larger organizations where, you know, things are better sensitive. But if you are going with your own blog or your own website, your own business, this is fine. Uh, you know, you can check all the details uh, over here and, you know, uh, you, so that you can put relaxed mode. So you will check every detail. Okay. Let's go to overview. So this is your project ID. Okay. And clarity tour it will give you a tour of the you know all the options here uh, if there is a other team member who is you know working on this project you can add the team member here and give the role to them as admin or member so admin has full rights and member has you know only viewing rights no changes can be done using member role okay and ip blocking so if you want your own ip address to be blocked and if someone else is uh, ip address to be blocked so that this tool doesn't uh, record the sessions from your IP because you keep visiting your website all the time or someone from your team member also keeps visiting the website or the development team keeps visiting the website. So you can block the IP here, take the IP from the person and block it. So if it is your own IP address, just put my IP and check this. It will automatically take the IP address. Okay. Click on add. So this will not record all the sessions from your laptop or your internet where you are browsing from. So this is the initial setting completed. 
okay you will need to wait for some time uh, almost uh, 12 to 4, 48 hours to see the recordings of here okay let's go to a uh, existing project where you have the recordings available so let me go to this website and see the recordings so here you have three things this is the dashboard you have recordings and you have heat maps okay and the google analytics by default all the data from google analytics will be pulled here because we connected the google analytics one settings we already have seen this this one so this is a dashboard and when you click show more it will go and take it into uh, show all the in-depth details so let's go and look at recordings so here all the recordings will be appearing to you so just click here and the recording will start playing so now if you see here this is a mobile android india so this came from india and this is a mobile view and this is recorded so how the user is moving on your site this is exactly how this is recorded and it is showing it to us okay you can fast forward it so this is also a mobile android india and uh, 38 seconds and one click this happened so again go next So you can see the recordings everywhere and if you want to skip inactivity like if the person is not moving on the screen recording you wanted to skip that activity you can check this it will be skipped automatically so here if you want to know if someone clicked where are the clicks happening just put it here check this clicks so all will be filtered where only clicks happened so all the clicks will be shown here okay if you see here at this point two clicks happened okay just go other place so there is a click happened but this tool didn't record it okay let's go back okay this is last three days recordings so here there are a lot of filters you can apply you can choose last three days last seven days you can choose what device they came from you can choose what browser they came from there and number of browsers firefox safari opera samsung browser okay you can choose the operating system linux chrome ios android you can choose the country there are a lot of countries okay you can choose the ID. So since we don't know this, we can ignore this one and uh, and user action based on the user action. If someone has clicked on it, so the clicks are again divided as reach clicks, dead clicks and scrolling, excessive scrolling. OK, they have scrolled throughout the page. OK, quick backs. So this is like quickly return to the previous page. So you can based on their uh, user action, you can, you know, uh, check this one, filter this one and put the recordings and see them okay and the path so if you want to see any particular url okay you can put the path of that one like particular url just put the name there and see the recordings of them okay and referring sites for example if you get a lot of traffic from x uh, site you can put that x site and look at the recordings and the source so uh, if you are want to get uh, you know if you want to see the recordings from google bing or yahoo yandex youtube you can you know filter the all the sources here and put the same way medium okay what medium direct referral you know or organic that way or campaign if you have you know set up any utm campaigns for your website and if you are running some google ads facebook ads or anything like that you can select by campaign so all those will be uh, coming here if you're running any ads all the campaign setup campaign names will be coming here and next one is channel so this is almost the same here and session duration if you want to see the you know session duration like where the person have spent you know more than you know 10 minutes so you can look at you know minimum 10 and maximum you know 10 20 30 like that you can filter by the session duration also and the page duration also and page size and screen resolution or you know visible page hidden page and you have completely different uh, you know filters available uh, for you and you have predefined filters here also okay so this way you can look at each and every uh, you know thing on your website each and every element where they are clicking how the users are going in which devices in which browser in which country okay and what they are doing are they clicking or not uh, are they scrolling your page how much time they are you know from where the source is there you know almost everything what you see on google analytics you can see plus the recordings you can see exactly how a person's behavior on your website the whole recording will be available here okay so this is about recordings go check that implement on your website go check all your uh, you know website uh, analytics data and accordingly plan what changes to make on the website where people more uh, where people are interacting more you know all these data you gather and you know make changes to your website so you improve the performance of the website analyze your uh, uh, contact us pages analyze your main business pages see 
how the person is viewing the website and make the changes accordingly so you will see tremendous results okay now let's go to heat maps so this is simply like a a map okay and it gives completely uh, how you know people are behaving like on which area of your website you know people are uh, behaving and uh, how they are clicking and scrolling pattern all these details will be seen here okay so let's go here so these are some of the popular pages i clicked on it so if you see this okay click so 31 clicks happened in this section so there are seven clicks on this headline eight clicks on this headline so there are th 34 clicks uh, on this sidebar over here there are 62 clicks over here there is one click over here so there are five clicks on this control systems menu bar right let me expand this okay i think this is maximum there are four clicks one click okay if you scroll down it will tell you everything like where you know people are actually clicking so there are 34 cl three clicks on this one so this is all desktop okay if i go to mobile how they are behaving on mobile so all the people who came to this url from the mobile one will be seen here from the desktop you will be seen here so you can check your how people are interacting on your mobile site and make changes if any okay so this looks fine so nothing you know uh, i don't see any errors or nothing i can see here so everything looks fine okay and let's look at the scroll behavior so how where they are scrolling until which point so if you see here 100% of users who all came onto this site 100% viewed up to here so so from here only 80 87% of people you know came until here 70% here okay 75% here so this is the average fold this is the upper fold you can say when we land on a mobile uh, you know site upper fold so until here 7 670% of people are coming here okay and let's look at how many people are coming until the bottom of our page let's look at that data so 29 people reached here 4% of people reached here 2% 1% 2% of people right so until the footer only 2.5% of people reached so this is a blog article so nothing alarming for me to check on this but if this is something related to a business if this page is related to a business page so looking at this metric of 2.5 this is a bad for a business related you know website so we need to act upon that and do something so that at least you know 40 to 30 30 to 40% of people come until the last content piece what we are putting in the last because in the last we put the call to action buttons in most of the business related uh, website okay uh, so call to action button is the very important for us because people have to fill the form uh, okay or book an appointment or you know or for an e-commerce website it is very important so they put into the cart and do that so that's very important you know for different businesses so since this is just a blog article this is fine so not a alarming metric for me to see okay so this is how you need to analyze uh, you know for different uh, you know websites for e-commerce or business related for blog related you know for news related you know it depends upon how you run your business how important it is a user for your business you know, who is landing on your website okay so this is how we need to look at and plan you know the changes on your website okay now let's go to area okay so this gives a particular area so may more who where the area you know focus is there like where the people are more interested in clicking you know that is the area it is showing so in this whole area 48% of people you know clicked on my whole blog article which is a good thing like it is not a bad one so all people who completely like out of 100 people 50 people uh, you know clicked on my complete article over here which is good out of all you know people are wanting to 2% of people wanted to check my next blog article which is a good metric for me and 0.24% want to check the category control systems so this is how i see my data and plan you know this kind of articles or if i want to put any related uh, articles down here so that kind of things i will analyze i have put an ebook here but no one is clicking on it so this is after analyzing you know so many pages 
I will come to a conclusion that okay, people are not clicking on this, so maybe they are not interested. I need to change this, uh, you know, whole image of this one, change the text, maybe uh, put more compelling text, give something different from here, you know, what I am showing right now. So these are all another action points we need to, you know, work upon so that, you know, our website improves. Okay, so that's all about uh, heat map. Okay, we have looked at dashboard recordings heat maps and let's look at google analytics so this is the same what we see on google analytics since we connected the same data is coming here so if you want to look at the whole recordings plus analytics data so we have to connect both of them and look the uh, data at you know same dashboard which is good and here if you see in the last seven days the majority of the traffic is coming from india kenya us bangladesh philippines pakistan and if you look at 62 percent of them are mobile and 36 are desktop and remaining on tablet so these are my popular pages in last seven days okay this is the you know high level dashboard from google analytics i would want to look at so which is good and if you look at the sessions how the trend has been you know in the last 10, 10 days seven days uh, we can look at last 30 days trend so actually it increased the session has increased so it was average 700 it has increased 2000 this increase to 1000 and 1500 which is good let me look at the bounce rate so bounce rate was around 70 75% and it is almost kind of same nothing uh, different you know if you have made any changes in the last 30 days or anything and you want to check you know the behavior you know you can analyze this one and session duration it increased in last 30 days so it was 157 around 160 and it increased to almost to 200 i can say almost 200 so it increased and looking at the source and medium in the last seven days so it's google organic is the big chunk where i am getting and next direct audience i'm getting next to bing and yahoo and other same so google organic is the highest traffic you know source for me and sessions by device so mobiles i'm getting a lot of traffic from mobiles so almost 64 percent which is great so that's all for today i hope you like this tutorial on microsoft clarity it's really an amazing tool go and install on your website and see how users are interacting on your website how they are you know looking your website and if any changes you have to make you know please go ahead and make the changes so you improve your website performance you might be a business owner you might be a seo person you might be a you know ppc person or you know or you might be a you know marketing manager head of marketing you know working in company or you might be a blogger a startup owner if you like this video please subscribe to our channel for more content like this and share this video to your friends so it reaches to more people